Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Now, as some of you may realize, I have Planet Coaster early access as well, and I've done some odd testing with that one. And I figured I would uh, try and repeat some of those tests here. Um, the, the launch coaster is a bit of a problem because you can't turn the launch off. So uh, we're going to have to ignore this one because it's accelerated across this little section here and I can't stop that. I don't think. Huh. Anyway, so we've got this nice long bits of track here. There we are. Oh. Huh. Okay, so anyway, we've got to set up the test. I've got the got the thing paused and here's the problem oh god every time it pops up a freaking warning oh dear lord what a pain in the neck Right, so they're all set to go. This one's probably just going to fly off the end of the track, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I might actually have to buy more land and extend the track, to be honest. This is like a 50-foot drop, I think. Anyway, let's, let's unpause and see what happens. Here they come! Now, these are all stock um, cars. Which is probably a mistake. Yeah, see, there he goes. And we're all gonna die. Bye! Fail! <laughs> okay. Fail. Yep, I'm gonna have to... For a 50 foot, that's a lot of... Momentum. I do like the uh, the impacts though. That that's actually quite nice. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, they stack. Oh, that's really cool. Alright, so I'll buy another piece, I'll extend this track out, and I'll try and set these all up so they're roughly the same number of cars. Alrighty, so... Uh, everyone has five trains, except I think the dive coaster, I believe, or the stand-up coaster, uh, who has a maximum of three. But one of the other coasters has a minimum of five. So, you know... I had to adjust it. Uh, everybody's been set up to test. I've made sure that all the tracks are not being greased. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving this one on there because it's funny to watch crash. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's just let, let, let's just uh, hit the pause button here, and we'll let the test go, and we can watch the hilarity. Here they come. Wow! Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's going to crash test my invisible wall. And... Boom. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so... Everyone has roughly the same number of cars, like I said, except this guy here. I have to say, so far, I mean, the, the Woody coaster is really quite impressive. He's, uh, he's actually managed to... Whoa! Hello! Oh, shit. Okay. Problem taken care of. Okay, the flying coaster, yeah, he kind of... 
Yep, that with the wing coaster, he kind of came off the end again. Uh, looks like he's stopping pretty much where he stopped last time. In fact, everybody is. Uh, that that uh, issue just then was uh, I have some uh, pedals attached to my computer for Flight Simulator, and I just happened to tap it. And the moment the uh, game engine detects input from that source, it thinks it's a freaking mouse. All right. Interesting. All right, so there you have it. Uh, very little difference, to be honest, in the... Uh, the distance they travel depending on the number of cars they've got. Um, actually, I think there is, but not much. But they all travel roughly the same distance. That that impossible distance from here to here that just seems to take forever. <laughs> okay, now new test. So we've got, I've actually adjusted these so they don't hang up quite so high. These are now down to 30 feet from 50, because that was actually quite a long runoff. Um, so we have the first one here, just perfectly flat, piece of track. Second one, banking, undulation, all the way down. And the third one, some up and downy bits, um, you know, a five, uh, five foot increase, decrease, all the way down. Um, so, this one should go the furthest. Uh, I'm not quite sure about these two, though. I want to say afterwards, this one should technically go the furthest, and then this one. But, let's unpause it and find out what the game engine says. The game engine says... Go. All right, and we're neck and neck. And we seem to be suffering the same problem here that we seem to be suffering in uh, Planet Coaster. So the undulating track is actually finishing, or is slowing down first, which is good. It should do. Each time it goes up that hill, it's losing a lot of energy. Um, this one and this one, on the other hand, technically both flat pieces of track. Only this one is being, uh, is having more of a friction applied to it because it's going from side to side. This one doesn't. So technically this one should travel farther than this one. And yet, well, you can see for yourself. It's definitely very interesting. And this final runoff too, this I mean it just it's just it takes forever. All oh, right, and last test. Uh, you know what? Wait a minute. Uh, music volume. Done. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, let's see here. Test. What? Oh, dang it. Stop. Pause. Test. Oh, no, your game is currently paused. Okay, so this test. Wibbly wobbly track. All the way down, as you can see. That's quite special, isn't it? Um, <laughs> the only difference is this one has banking in it, and this one does not. 
Um, we're going to try and find out if banking has any effect on the efficiency of the train. Um, uh, if you throw a, a uh, roller coaster car into a corner, flat corner, um, not only do the, the wheels that are uh, above the track cause friction, but as it comes into the corner, the wheels on the side of the track that keep it centered also have weight applied to them and therefore they create more friction. So a flat corner should slow down the roller coaster car more than a banked corner because a banked corner obviously you're, you're taking some of that weight off of those side wheels and applying it to the uh, you know the wheels riding on the top of the track which are already carrying the weight of the car anyway so it doesn't matter so technically a banked corner is more efficient for the train okay with me I don't care so let's see what uh, let's see what this does uh, 30 foot start identical trains no greasing of the track and away we go um, I used the predefined 90 degree corners for this Okay, so the banked track looks like it's doing better. However, in our previous test with the flat track, we did notice that the car on the banked track traveled farther anyway. Now the question is, Will this travel considerably farther than this one? Because we already have to factor in that distance that the uh, banked track on the flat grade added in. And it actually looks like no. <laughs> it looks like the distance traveled is pretty much the same. What are we looking at here? About about a full car length difference there. Well, certainly interesting. Now, is, is the banking of the corners making this travel farther, or is it simply the fact that it's banked? <laughs> I think to look at this, we have to look back at our previous little test and see the difference. So what's what would the difference here be, roughly? What is that? Uh, one, two, three car lengths maybe? Three car lengths difference between this one and this one? Let's go back to our other, other test and we'll look at that one. Um, and we'll find out. Hmm. Interesting. Well... Well, okay, so, apparently not. Uh, in our flat grade test, with the straight track versus the uh, banked track in a straight line, there was about one, maybe one and a half car length difference between the two. This is considerably more, so you know, we're thinking that, uh, that the, the curving, having the banks and the curves does make a bit of a difference. Interesting. Well, that's enough of the silliness for the moment. I will see you anon.